is Jess from Cook Smarts, and today we're continuing our grilling series and I'm going to teach you how to do some high heat grilling today. High heat grilling is a method that we want to use for proteins that cook really quickly. Basically all it does is give it gives it a, your protein a nice char and really kind of caramelizes the outside so it gets this really sugary crust and gets this golden golden brown exterior and that's what we want in there, our meats. Um, so proteins that grill pretty quickly are burgers, any, any kind of steak really, lamb chops, anything that doesn't have to be cooked fully. So it's good with a medium rare and steak is really perfect for that, which is what we're cooking up today. So today I've got this skirt steak. Skirt steak is probably my favorite, one of my favorite cuts of steak because it's super, it's a little, it's fatty, so it's juicy, and it cooks up of course really quickly. It's great for tacos, it's great just to eat on its own with some really delicious sauce afterwards. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how we're gonna cook up this skirt steak. So the first tip into grilling up any protein is to make sure you salt and pepper it beforehand. I've salt and peppered this skirt steak the night before so that it's got plenty of time to get lots of flavor. So the next tip is to make sure you take the protein out of the fridge anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour beforehand. And that depends on how thick the cut of meat is. Um, and the reason for this is you want the meat to go on the grill not completely cold. If you put a, hot, a cold piece of meat onto a hot grill, it's just not going to cook evenly. The, the, the outside's going to get charred, the inside's still going to be cold. So if you take it out a little bit beforehand, it gives us some time to come up to a room temperature before you put it onto a hot grill. With high heat cooking, of course, you're going to get your grill to really high temperatures. I try to get the, the grill going to about 500 degrees, and then the protein's ready to go on. But there is one more step and it is salting again. So salt and pepper are just really important to grilling. It just adds so much flavor to the meat. And this salt, this, this salt is more about creating that crust. After you've salted your protein one last time, your grill has gotten to high temperature around 500 degrees, we're ready to put the protein on the grill. Just remember to clean and oil your grates beforehand. So I'm gonna take the protein and put it salted side down right over the direct flame. So we want that high heat and we want that char on our steak. Once we've got the protein on the grill, I'm gonna go ahead and salt the other side. If you hold your hands up about a foot over, that means that you're gonna get the most surface area, which is what we want. I'm also gonna go ahead and pepper it on the other side. let this sit for about three to four minutes on each side and if you want those really cool hatch marks from the grill you want to rotate it a little bit midway through so we'll get a nice cross. For high heat cooking you don't need to close the grill cover we really just want that flame to char up the protein and caramelize it really nicely so we do not need to close the grill. It's been about three minutes, which means the steak is ready to be taken off the grill, and we're gonna go ahead and let it rest for a bit before we slice into it. You wanna let it rest for five to 10 minutes to make sure all the juices settle in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cover up our steak with this foil and let it just hang out for five to 10 minutes before we slice into it. Our skirt steak has rested for 10 minutes and I've gone ahead and sliced it up and I can't wait to have it for dinner. So be sure to try these high heat grilling tips for all of your steaks and burgers this summer.